Hello, my name is Mrs. Smith, and I'm a crossing guard. One of my jobs is to make sure young people cross the street safely. It's easy to be safe as long as you follow a few basic rules. I'm going out to meet some of my young friends now. Why don't you come along? I think you learned some great new things and have fun while you do. Here are my friends now. Hi, kids. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Now, before we get started, I'd like for you to meet the real teacher, Willie Whistle. Hi, I'm Willie Whistle with an important message about crossing streets. Until you get older, about 11 or 12 years old, it's always best to cross the street at the corner with an adult you trust. But crossing guards, law enforcement officers, our parents and grandparents, along with crosswalks and traffic signals, aren't always there when we need them. So, Mrs. Smith and I are going to show you how to cross the street even when there is no help around. I want you to meet some friends of mine. Meet Lara, Sam, and Christina. Hi. 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 Lara, Sam, and Christina are friends of mine because they know the right way to cross streets. Would you like to learn the safe way? The way we do it, it isn't hard. Actually, it's kind of easy. Cool. Now, the first thing we're going to learn about is curbs. Lara, if you want to be a safe street crosser, what do you do whenever you come to a curb? Or the edge of the road if there isn't a curb? You stop. Sam, what do you do when you come to a curb? You stop. Christina, what do you do when you come to a curb? Ooh, you stop. When you come to the curb or the edge of the road, if there isn't a curb, you stop? Always. Every time, you always stop. Stopping at the curb or the edge of the road when there is no curb is the first important thing to remember. You're absolutely correct. You stop every time. There may be cars coming and you don't want them to hit you. There may be a car coming from the left or there may be a car coming from the right. So, you look to the left, and you look to the right, and then you look to the left again, just to make sure. Thanks, Willie. Does everybody understand? Yes! Before going into the street for any reason, when you come to the curb at the edge of the road, if there is no curb, you stop. Then you look to your left, then you look to your right, and you look to your left again. Do not go into the street until you're sure no cars are coming. Just to be sure that you know your left from your right, let's have everyone make an L with their left hand. See, L is for left hand. Now everybody, wave your left hand. That's great. Now your right hand. Let's wave the right hand real hard. Keep waving it. Really hard. That's good. Now let's wave again. Left hand, right hand, left hand. Lara, would you like to show us how to cross safely? Sure, come on guys. Okay, don't forget to stop at the curb or at the edge of the road if there isn't a curb. Then we look to the left, to the right, and to the left again. If a car is passing, we wait till it's gone Look to the left, the right, and the left again. Okay, we're clear. Let's go. Great job. Thanks, Lara. Christina, now it's your turn. Will you show us how to do it? Sure. First, stop at the curb. Then, look to the left and to the right. But there is a car coming. So, you wait until it passes and start again. Look to the left, look to the right, look to the left again. The street is clear, and it's okay to cross. That was excellent, Christina. Just remember to always stop and look left, right, left, every time you cross the street. I will. Thanks, Christina. Everybody with us so far? Yes! I thought you would be. Now, what do you think you do if there are cars parked on the street? 
You stop at the curb, but you can't really see if a car is coming or not. It's kind of different, isn't it? Sam, would you show us what to do in this case? Well, I step to the curb and stop and check to make sure that the parked cars are not running and are empty. Then I step to the outside edge of the parked cars and stop. If there's a car coming, I step back and wait until it passes. Then I walk out to the edge again and look left and right and left until I don't see any more cars coming. Good. Thanks, Sam. Will we please go over the three basic things to remember? First, always stop at the curb or the edge of the road if there isn't a curb before you step off the sidewalk. Second, after you stop at the curb, always look to the left and to the right and to the left again until there are no cars coming. Third, if cars are parked on the street, always go to the edge of the parked cars where you can see and stop before looking left, right, and left. If you see a car coming from any direction, wait until it passes and then look left, right, and left again until there are no cars coming each time you look. And that's it!